Hello friends, welcome to another video guide. Today we are going to be covering a build guide. We uh, kind of discovered this during stream, totally forgot about the explosive melee perk cards and we're going to be showing you guys a fun build. It's not the best, it's just kind of thrown together. But there's two perk cards that I want to kind of show off with the automatic melee weapons. Two of the weapons that we are going to be showcasing today is going to be the drill as well as the chainsaw and for anyone who is wondering how does it fare against the queen well I tried doing it solo and here's how it turned out After getting killed a lot, I grabbed my gun, changed my build, and... Yeah, it didn't go well. But anyways... Um... Yeah, that's embarrassing. So, for the build that we have today, it's mainly going to be used for like clearing ads clearing west tech expedition and all that other kind of stuff not necessarily for bossing you can use it for bossing but it i highly recommend doing it with people unless you're a freaking boss and you can solo the queen with an automatic melee weapon if so sick because i can't yet i will someday anyways here is the build that we have currently so to start things off, Master Slugger, Expert Slugger, and Slugger are for the Chainsaw and Auto Axe. If you are using the Drill or want to use the Drill, using Gladiator will be your alternative. Next perk card we have is Incisor for the Anti-Armor Effect or Ignore Armor Effect as well as Martial Artist for Reduced Weight as well as Faster Swing. For Perception we have Grenadier because we are using two perk cards for Explosive. This will uh, add to the Radius. For Endurance, we have Radical and Revenant, as well as Cola Nut. If you are planning on increasing your damage, Nuka Cola Dark and Cola Nut is a good pair. For Charisma, we have Strange in Numbers and Party Boy to increase the benefits from alcohol. For Intelligence, we have First Aid, Nerd Rage, Batteries Included, Scrapper, and Demolition Expert. Demolition Expert for our explosive damage. For Agility, we have Three Hiker, Escape Artist, don't know why that's there, um, Dodgy, and Evasive. Dodgy and Evasive are for our defensive perk cards, so we are going to be a little bit squishy. For Luck, we have Serendipity, Class Freak, Starch Genes, Bloody Mess for increased damage, and better criticals because we're using Vats, might as well crit, right? For the Legendary perk cards, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Take One for the team, which is good for any build, honestly. Highly recommend having it. Agility, Strength, and intelligence all maxed out but keep in mind strength allows you to increase your carry weight and melee damage so stack as much strength as possible for the cards that are going to shine for the build are going to be collateral damage which for each kill you have a 20 percent chance for them to explode as well as hack and slash you have a 50 percent chance for each melee hit in vats to do area area damage which is an explosion so stacking these two together is very nice and you can get them both to proc but um, if you are unarmed you can use exploding palm collateral damage is good for any melee weapon as well besides unarmed so for today we're going to be starting off with a vampire swing speed plus one endurance drill and we're going to be here at west tech the hunting ground but first things first gonna make sure we're on a team so we can get those extra buffs from our mutations which I will show at the end of the video. That is my fault. I forgot to pop those up. But look how beautiful it is. It's magnificent. Glorious. Now, if you didn't know, if you have a drill, you can mod it with the puncturing mod. Um, all players have it available. You don't have to buy a mod or anything like that. Um, but keep in mind that when using bats and using any kind of automatic um, melee weapon, a drill, ripper, chainsaw, auto axe, so on and so forth, it will consume AP while you're using bats as well. 
Now for this portion, we're going to put on our slugger perks and use our bloodied power attack plus one strength chainsaw. Now, chainsaws, they don't consume a lot of AP, which is really nice, but they're incredibly powerful, especially this one. Uh, it's probably not a good one to show, um, but honestly, even with a non-legendary uh, chainsaw, it would shred just as fast. But um, yeah, it's amazing using both of the explosive perk cards. You can increase the radius and damage if you use uh, some of the magazines and uh, bobbleheads and such. But look how quickly things just get taken down. It's, it's insane. Now for this part, we're going to switch back to our vampires and show how much damage and how many procs this thing can actually give off without having the um, single-handed or single, yeah, single-handed uh, melee perk cards, which is gladiator. Sorry, but it procs so, so much. Um, but a little tip: sometimes it will stop procking, and if it ever does, just back out of vats and revats again and the proc streak continue going but it's this is so insane and it's so fun um but yeah in terms of bossing i have yet to really do any real damage unless it's within a uh, public server the chainsaw can dish out some damage if you're able to just sit in front of the queen's face um, but if you want to have some fun and just have some uh explosions procking under the queen while doing a public server it probably looks silly and from another end but yeah i mean it's not supposed i guess this build isn't supposed to be like incredibly op like game breaking disgusting damage op but it's really fun and again this build is kind of just thrown together um i'm sure you can actually maximize its damage a lot more and survivability but uh yeah it's it's pretty fun Probably next video that I will do is going to be a proper queen fight, mid-max with all the foods, all the chems and everything on it. Um, but yeah, and that about covers it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, we recently just uh, not discovered, but uh, remembered about the legendary explosive perk cards to make any melee weapon explosive, and with drills. It's absolutely silly. It's so fun. And with chainsaws, you could probably proc a lot with the queen or earl. But then again, survivability is pretty low if you're doing it as a bloodied. Um, so stack up sentinels if you need or other things to kind of boost your survivability. But yeah, if uh, you guys tried this out before, let me know in the comments. And if it's something that you're interested in and possibly going to test out, I would love to know your experience with it as well. But with that, friends, I do hope uh, you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy hunting, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!